Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to CrazyBossV31, Weez GNZ Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Dirty. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the Life Invader Heist mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require enable all interiors so make sure that you do download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below as well. And even don't forget to download Lemon UI it does require for enable all interiors so make sure that you do download Lemon UI. And don't forget to download Native UI it does require for the Life Invader, so make sure that you do download Native UI. So let's get started. Once you have completed downloading all of your files, go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now, make sure that you do have a scripts folder. If you do not have one, simply right click and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder. Now we're going to start installing our files. Firstly, open up your release zip extract folder. That's your native UI extract folder. Select both files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVDN2 folder. And now select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Go back to your extract folder. Now go to your SHVDN3 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then go back to your extract folder. Then now exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your enable all interiors extract folder. Now go to this folder, go to the skits folder. Now all you gotta do is select all the files except for the text files and drag it inside your skits folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your Life Invader Extract Folder, select both files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click, refresh your desktop, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we're here with Franklin and we are in the game. Now my game did not crash, so that's good. But once you're in the game, there's a few things that you need to do first. So when you're in the game, okay, go to your contacts, okay, on your phone. Now go right down to the bottom and you'll see enable all interiors. Now go and contact the enable all interiors. Then go to change an interior. Now with all this, you can do whatever, okay, it's totally up to you. But to make the life invader heist mod work, Go right down to the bottom to MISC options. Now change load MP maps to true. And this is optional. Change enable blips to true. 
and then back out then go to refresh interiors and now go on your keyboard and now and back out there now go on your keyboard and now select insert now your game will freeze for only a few seconds then now it's back on now as you can see on my mini map there's a red box there that means that the interiors inside is working so you can't go inside there now to make the mod work okay all you got to do is press i on your keyboard and now you'll get a message on your screen that says hi remember me i'm one of the contacts so you will need to go to your contacts so we need a record so let's go and get this record here jump out get out and now let's go to our contact so we are at the location where we gotta meet our contact and now just come over here park up over here then jump out then go over here then press e now it says i'll do it quick blah 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 so let's just jump over here and now you will need to go press f now when you go in the van these two guys over here will be your heist team this is your team over here this is your crew wait for your crew and now just drive out drive out okay it's a small drive so just drive out and now just go to the location where it is marked now you will get a message on your screen when you go closer right there it automatically stopped so it stays over here before you go I just want to let you know I've marked the enemies so they have marked the enemies now on your screen it will say just saying once you get in they shoot you so be ready so technically they already know that we are coming so let's just get our guns ready and now just walk in then they will start shooting oh shoot shoot and yes i do have guard mode on so don't say so, so don't judge me but yeah oh who cares let's just go and get the money nice and fast Okay, let's do this fast. Okay, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, gee, there's two more in here. Did I kill my friend? Oh no. My boys are downstairs still. Uh, oh, here they are. Okay. Now, I think you gotta go over here somewhere. Yeah, now press E to plant the bomb. Now get in the car outside. Let's go. Let's go in the car. And now let's go over here. Oh, I think one of our boys are dead. Yeah, one of our boys are dead. It's alright. Now press G to detonate the sticky bomb. And there you go. Then I'll lose the cots, which I don't have cots on me. I think so, yeah. Now we are nearly there um, at the location for the contact, okay? So let's just stop over here. Now I highly recommend you doing this without God mode and without um, police off, okay? Otherwise it doesn't, uh, you know, it won't be fun. Like me, it's not fun, but yeah. I just want to do it fast. So go over here, okay, press E to sell, then now go over here, 
you will need to go over here and grab the bag over here. Grab this bag. And there you go. You got paid, and that's the heist. And we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that. Now, remember, okay, I highly recommend you guys not to use God mode. Say, so don't use God mode, and now uh, don't turn the police off, okay? Uh, make sure that the, that you are wanted, so it can make the mod more fun than I had, okay? So, like always, okay, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. If you guys did enjoy this video, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials, and I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, and I'm out.